Hello there and welcome to this video which is going to look through the practical technique of preparing an insoluble solid. Okay, so if you want to make an insoluble solid, the first thing you need to do is have your two soluble solids. So in this case I'm going to be using sodium chloride and lead nitrate. Now the lead nitrate is already dissolved but the sodium chloride is not. So your very first step is to get a spatula of your sodium chloride dissolve it with a little bit of water and then stir it until it's fully dissolved. The next thing you want to do is you want to mix it with your other soluble salt, so in this case lead nitrate. Now you'll see straight away the precipitate forming. Just like that. So the next step, once you've done that, is to filter it through. So you get your filter paper, you fold it in half once, and you fold it in half again. Open it out, and pop it into your filter funnel, just like that. That goes into your conical flask, and then you tip your solution in. Now you'll notice there's still some of the solid left in the beaker, so what you need to do is just wash it through. So what we've got in here then is the solution at the bottom, which is our silver nitrate, and then up at the top, which is filtering through, is our lead chloride, which is our insoluble solid. So once you have done that, the next thing is to make sure it's pure. And to do that, you need to get yourself some more deionized water, distilled water, and just rinse it. That gets rid of any impurities, any silver nitrate that might be left. Okay, so finally then, You've got your pure insoluble salt. What you need to do is leave it to dry. Now you can either do that by putting it into an oven or you can use something called a desiccator. What that desiccator does is it removes the moisture from the product. So you take the lid off, you put your sample in, lid back on, and then the crystals underneath will help to remove the moisture and help it dry. Okay, let's have a look at three questions then. So the first one is describe how to produce a pure dry precipitate of silver chloride from solid silver nitrate and sodium chloride crystals. Part two is write the word equation for the reaction in part one. And then part three is to explain why you must wash the solution in part one. Pause the video, have a think, write down what you think the answer is and we'll go through them in. Okay, let's have a look. So there are five different things you can say to get the four marks for the first question. So the very first thing, as we said, is you've got solid silver nitrate and solid sodium chloride. So what you have to do is dissolve them both. So you get one mark for saying dissolve both the solids. Number two is once you've dissolved them, you have to mix them together. So mix them, the solutions together, mix the silver nitrate and the sodium chloride together. Whatever you want to put, it's that mixing. Then the next one, you've got them filtered. You've got your precipitate, but it's in that solution. So filter it. Filter the precipitate to leave you with that precipitate in the filter paper. The next step once you've done that is to wash the solid in the filter paper and then finally leave it to dry, either in an oven or a desiccator. If you got any four of those, you get four marks in total. Now the next part is the writing the word equation. Now you've been told you're reacting silver nitrate and sodium chloride. So you don't actually get any marks for that. The marks are for the actual second part of it. You know you get silver chloride, and then the other one has got to be, so silver chloride, the other one has got to be sodium nitrate. So you get one mark for that, one mark for that. The final part then is explain why you must wash the solution in part one. Now you should remember from when I went through the video, you have to wash it to make sure you remove any impurities. Okay, right. Let's have a look at the review question, which will end this video, which is describe how to produce a pure dry precipitate of barium sulfate from solid barium chloride and copper sulfate crystals. Very similar question, just different reactants. Have a go at it, and that ends this video. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below, and you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnstc.com, and Facebook, and Twitter.